I'm trying to make my mama prior, that's for sure Landed in the city, but my heart is on the coast I don't wanna look back, what my life was like before I just took a red eye, penthouse, top flow In the stew, I got a spazzo Back up in my bag, get the rack case and I cash out I've been running laps, I don't got time to relax now I just took a chance, wasn't looking for no handouts Hey folks, what's up? It's Dylan, back here for another video. Now, this is actually a two-part video, so if you have not watched part one, you should definitely go watch that. I'll show a small clip here. But anyway, this is the Venom video, the Venom uh, G, G Fuel video, the, the ending of the G Fuel Venom video. So that was the clip and I'm currently drinking the rest of my Venom G Fuel right here. So make sure you guys go check that video out, absolutely amazing. But right now, we're going to start with the Carnage G Fuel as I drink my Venom G Fuel from a couple seconds ago. So right here, I have Le Box. And <laughs> right here, I have <clears throat> right here, I have the Red Ooze Carnage Pack. Boom, right there. So, very menacing kind of attack pose right there. And so in the little window we can see the, the carnage and the carnage shaker. We get that little top part, the venom. And then, same with the carnage box, we have the little tendrils on the top. Then on the on both sides we kind of have like the tendrils and the G Fuel logo right there. I'll show the other side. Hope you guys can kind of see that enough. I don't know if I'm like, you know, I don't know. You guys can pause or whatever. And then on the back, my favorite part is a nice little carnage. He's just kind of like snarling at you. So, yes, there we go. So, I didn't really intro this video, that's because you're supposed to watch the part one first. So that's why I'm just getting right into the review. So, we're gonna open it up. Oh, okay, so hold on, hold on. Oh, wow, okay, so right here we have kind of a leaping carnage right there that looks very nice hopefully it's clear to see for you guys hopefully and on top we have kind of a contrast of the venom g fuel where it's a black top and a red bottom where venom it was the exact opposite of this it had the red as the sh as the cup as the cap and the black as the bottom. So I guess, technically, you can customize your G Fuel and switch the tops of these to make for a little bit of a different experience. So, now on this side we have G Fuel. Then just like we have this, is, I think this was originally just right here. And you didn't get this silhouette like an like in my Spider-Man Radioactive Lemonade review that I did. Very nice. This is actually a really cool pose that they have here. And then I really like that G Fuel logo. Let's open her up. Let's see what... Oh. Okay, so for Venom, I know, I'm pretty sure he has a red 
inside, like a red of this. The shaker, I guess. Or, I guess the whole thing is the shaker, but just like I was saying, you can customize your G Fuel. So, you can put this in the Venom um, shaker, and then it can be a pretty much an all blacked out Venom shaker. And then you could buy like some other like fully black top, and it can be an all black Venom. So, just like I was saying, you can customize. Pretty sure I said that in the first video. I'm like, oh, this is really easy to customize. If it matches, you can kind of mix and match, like which go with what, kind of making your own G Fuel experience. <laughs> now, so the camera just cut out because a guy angry at me, but it smells like IKEA. <laughs> and anyway, now, oh, I see a trick sticker in here like we always get. But first, let's uh, take a look at this. If it can stay there properly. Stay. There we go. So, very nice. We have a nice front on the carnage thing. We have him kind of this in the same pose as the shaker. We kind of have like a lunging strike, kind of. Or he's about to strike. And then all around the G Fuel, especially on this side, we have a bunch of his tendrils, just like in the movie. So, there we go. And then I'm going to show you guys the supplement facts, if you guys need that. So, focus. There we go. So you guys can just kind of see those. You guys can pause if you need to see them longer. And then, so now I'm going to ruin it by ripping off the top and cutting like almost all of his head off so that's gonna be great I hate how they need to like make his like body lower like they can't just like you know but anyway anyway okay so that says 40 servings the little thing on the side whatever and then we're going to open it up and get, get a smell and get the color. So, oh, the lift and I always forget about this. I just unboxed the Venom one, literally like 15 minutes ago, and I already forgot about the lift and peel. Every single time I forget about the lift and peel. I don't know why. I don't know. I guess the rest of it is just so exciting. You know, you just whoa, what? In the there's like this little packet thingamabob on mine. I don't think that's supposed to be there, but that's just supposed to be in the G Fuel. Somebody got stuck on there. Since, since that is G Fuel all over, we're just going to leave it in there. So. Okay, shit. I'm going to put that there. Take this. Put that there. Okay, so. Right now, I'm seeing kind of a uh, a pink a little bit. That's kind of it's kind of like a very light red. I'm gonna get a little taste off my finger. Now, well, here I'm gonna show you guys first. You guys can see that it's kind of like a very light red or not even a red, it's like almost a white but with like some pink. Now I'm going to try the Venom to kind of compare what I tasted off my finger to this. Really just an excuse to drink the Venom one, but whatever. Tastes extremely similar, but I'm guessing that's going to be different when I go to get the G Fuel. And then, at the end, I'm going to compare both of the flavors. <laughs> if I don't drink it all right now. Anyway, I'm going to go downstairs and fill up my G Fuel with water. Then we're going to do some Hero Ball on my leg and finish off the review. Oh, 
One last thing. Pretty sure there's no advertisements in here, no. But we have another trick sticker, as we're now calling them. Because it looks like a sticker, but it isn't. We have a very nice Venom and G Fuel kind of like showdown right there. It's kind of them both snarling at them at each other. Kind of like on the back of the box, only their tongues are like missing. They're not missing, but you can see Venom's tongue, sort of. But like they're missing, like, it's usually like sticking like out, you know, but whatever. Anyway, I'm gonna get my water. Okay guys, so I just got my water. And I really like, I don't know, it feels really cold, it feels nice, so. All right, so now we're gonna play some Hero Ball. Just like I said in the Venom review, next G Fuel video, if, the, if one of the videos, if Venom or Carnage gets five likes, I will place a camera right here looking at my legs as I balance my G Fuel. Possibly losing around $30 and whatever. Now it's actually balancing on my leg. Obviously I can't show you guys. You have to believe me that I will not clickbait you guys. I will not do the bad deed of that. I do not go to church, but I do think clickbaiting is a sin you cannot forgive. <laughs> so anybody who clickbaits, you're a little shitter. Oh man, the shaker, oh my gosh, there's G Fuel everywhere. Oh, okay. So I just kind of got a little bit of that sourness in there. And it tastes very good. Trying to get a lot of it out, does not need that much. Actually, we're gonna get a little bit more. Now, a little trick with these is if you don't put a whole scoop in the G Fuel, or well, in the water to make G Fuel, then technically you get more than 40 servings. Because I'm pretty sure 40 servings is like to the top of the shaker. So, I mean, if you don't fill it up all the way, like I usually do, then you get actually more like 50 servings, saving you some money. So, there you go. So, I'm gonna give her a shake. And first, I'm going to try the Venom first, and then this. So, we can do a little comparison, because this is basically the exact same as Venom, only sour of Venom. So you guys could not know, this is basically a sweet black cherry. I think that's what it said. Almost, almost positive, but that, I looked it up on the website for the Venom video, and it said, and it said, um, And it said sweet black cherry. So now we're gonna take a look, see at the color. Oh. Oh, okay. So I definitely smell that kind of, that kind of red ooze, a little bit sour in there. So. I can see a little powder floating around, so I'm gonna give it a little more. But oh, I got some on my fingers. Okay, still pretty much taste 
the exact same as the normal Venom one. So, did I get scammed or did I actually have to taste like a whole gulp of it to get that sourness? Because right now, I just tasted some little drops that slipped out and it just tastes like just like a Venom one, or the Venom one, the Black Ooze. So, a little bit confused. So, it's not a nice red inside. I don't think I'm going to be able to show you guys because I filled it up a little too much. But, hopefully you guys can sort of see that a little. I'm trying not to spill. Okay, I'll take as far as I can go. So, you guys can't see it, then, yeah. Anyway, it's kind of like a bright red, kind of. Alright. Now, wait, I'm going to taste the venom first, then the carnage. I really like this flavor. This is probably my favorite, actually. You can really taste the symbiote inside of it. So we're just going to finish her off. There we go. So, there definitely is that sweet black cherry that was described. So now, we can give this puppy a try. See what it tastes like. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. I definitely taste the sour. But there isn't that much black cherry in it, actually. Now, hold on. Let me... Here I didn't put enough in to get the black cherry, but there isn't that much in it, to be completely honest here. Hmm. I'm starting to get it a little bit more now. There's definitely a lot of sour though. So Venom is like more of a sweet. This is more of a sour. So this is something like the amount of sour you'd get on, I would say if you ate like 10 or maybe not 10, like five Sour Patch Kids in one bite or whatever. This is some, like not the flavor, the sour level would be about there. So if this is a little bit too much sour for you guys, then I would recommend getting the Venom because the Venom is a lot more of like a sweet. And this is still sweet a little bit in the very beginning and the very end, but in the middle, it's like this burst of sour. So now make sure I'm shaking it up, getting the full flavor. Okay, so now that I either all my ice just dissolved, making a little more water down, or it wasn't fully shooken up enough, but Compared to the first sip, it tastes a lot different. So. Okay, so there's definitely a lot less of the black cherry in it. There's definitely just 
to me personally right now, it basically just tastes like like a warhead, but like not as sour. Like it doesn't really have that much flavor, it just has like a sour taste. It doesn't exactly taste bad, but it's not as enjoyable as the other flavors I've gotten. But maybe I'm just, I didn't put enough in or put too much in or something. Maybe I put too much in to compensate for, to compensate for the amount of water I put in. Because maybe this one, because maybe this G Fuel would be the G Fuel for you to kind of like water down a little bit. So like you put the G Fuel in there, you shake it up, and you put like a little smidge of water in there to kind of like dilute it a little bit. So then it's more of a enjoyable sour flavor. Because right now, all I'm getting is just kind of like this explosion of sour. There isn't much black cherry flavor in it. So... You know, isn't... I don't know, this is probably my least favorite G Fuel out of all of them. I really do like the shaker, but I think if I would dilute it, it'd taste much better because I put kind of a lot of G Fuel in there for, for, for like not even a full, um, for not even a full cup, like thing of water because I only got the water to like here instead of usually I get to like literally like right there. So I mean like that much water or like that much water, that's like kind of a lot if you only put in like that much powder, you know. So I don't know, maybe I just like didn't do it correct. Like I didn't like mix it correctly or something. But from this initial taste, it I probably would be my least favorite. So I would definitely consider that when buying G Fuel because I buy, I be the stupid one in this situation, you watch my reviews and you know that, oh, no, I'm a sour guy. I like sour. It has to be sour. This, if you're a sour guy, this is your drink. You're going to like this. If you like lots and lots of sour, I mean, well, not lots and lots, but there isn't very much other flavor. So if you're just like, I just want sour, boom, this is the one you get. If you're kind of more of like a sweet kind of like juice kind of person like I am, you're going to want the venom. So it's the venom or the carnage. You, you know, it's whatever your preference is, you know. I'm not going to force you guys to buy any of this, obviously. I mean, I wouldn't be able to, but... I'm just doing my review, so I'm just saying Venom is more of a sweet kind of cherry taste, so this is more of a sour with a hint of cherry, if that's that kind of makes sense. So think about this like a cherry Coke, if you ever had that. Basically the sour is the Coke, and the cherry is the cherry. <laughs> so that's kind of what this is. There's a lot of sour, a little bit of cherry. So now remember, if you guys watched both parts of my video, thank you very much. And I did say there's a couple special things at the end. So don't worry, I didn't click bait you guys. So so you see these two G Fuel boxes here. We have this. We have this, both G Fuel boxes. Now, 
what we're going to do here is so I don't know if you guys know but I keep my G Fuel boxes okay now I know some people might throw the collector's boxes away okay but look at what you can do with these two specific collector's boxes hopefully I'm doing this correctly boom look at that now that is a cool display you can literally put both of them together to create a little scene for yourself a little decoration and probably in the future when I get a legitimate gaming setup this is going to be in the background so this is going to be very nice it's kind of a little memento to G Fuel so I don't know if they intended it to be like this but I think it looks very very nice that they're kind of I think they kind of recreate this in the movie where they're both kind of looking at each other and they're like snarling kind of it's been a couple months since I watched the movie because it is January the movie came out in November and I think this would be a very cool display setup probably right next to my G Fuel pyramid which would be a very nice little addition to that you kind of have the G Fuel boxes next to it so that would be very nice where's my G Fuel? there it is <laughs> so anyway hopefully you guys did enjoy this video now if you guys have enjoyed and like my cringy ass jokes leave a like this helps out my channel surprisingly it basically rec recommends this video to more people so more people can get this very helpful G Fuel review and my cringy jokes along with it so make sure you subscribe we are so close to 40 subscribers one subscriber away if you guys can get me to 40 subscribers I'll lose my mind quite literally every time I get a subscriber it's kind of that little, that little like jump, like your heart almost stops for me. Oh my gosh, got a subscriber, yay! I know that for some people it happens like every single day. It's just like, oh, another, you know, 150k subs, whatever. No, for me, one subscriber is like getting a million subscribers. And I don't know, I just, it makes my day. So if you guys want to make my day even better, hit that subscribe button. And even better, you can leave me a comment. I will answer your comment unless it's like some scam shit where it's like, oh, click on this link. You can, you know, win $100,000. Yeah, I'm not going to click on that. But leave me a question down there. I would like that. You can leave me a little question. Why is your hair so fucked up today? Why are you wearing a Stark shirt when, or why are you wearing a Marvel Stark Industry shirt when you could be wearing a Venom shirt? You can completely shit on me in the comments. Why do you spend $100 in G Fuel? You're 18. You should be saving money. So you guys can say any of those things. Now, that probably wouldn't exactly make my day, but you can still say it then to me. So, if you guys have, have enjoyed... Uh, lost my share of thought. Anyway, see you guys next time. And I do have some more videos coming in the future, so make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.